Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. I always feel like Mr. Rogers when we're speaking to Bill Jordan because I know it's going to be a wonderful time. I only wish I had uh, a pair of sneakers to take off or shoes to take off and a coat to put on and things like that and a little train that went around the room because it gives me that warm, wonderful feeling uh, as I know our audience does as well. Welcome, Bill Jordan. Nice to see you. Welcome, neighbor. It's good to see <laughs> you today. Well, Bill, it's so nice to have you again. Will well, you be my friend? I'll be your friend. Won't you be my neighbor? I don't think I want to be your neighbor, oh, Art. Yeah. No. Good. Yeah, if that, that's, your grand, if that's one of your that's one of your uh, umpteen philosophies, right? Don't be Art's neighbor. Don't be Art. That'll be in the next. That'll be in the next book. Yeah. Listen, don't be Art's Bill, neighbor. Speaking, speaking of your philosophies, you have fifteen practices. Best, I call them best practices. They're yeah. ways to live life that will make you basically happier. Um, yeah, number it's, it's six. I was looking at number six, which yeah. recently. Well, it's an embrace the boom practice. It's 15 practices that will help you, regardless of where you are mm -hmm. in life. But just because we reach baby boomer age doesn't mean, at least for me, that I'm still trying to get better. And it's things that I wish I had known when I was 16. So, uh, and if I practice these all through my life, you know, not that you ever perfect them, but you keep them in mind. So, yeah, number six was two ears, one mouth. This is some old philosophy here. So, you know, obviously, what is that saying to us? You've got two ears. You've got one mouth. Use them accordingly. Listen more than you speak. Twice as much as you speak. We often are listening. Is another little bit of kind of a philosophy or at least a, a, an observation. We too often listen to respond. We're quick to... Okay. All right. When he gets through, I got, I got, I got something I want to say. I want. To... We're not listening to understand. We're listening to respond. And sometimes listening, and especially to friends or a loved one, if they are, we're having maybe one of our cone of silence meetings that I've talked about before. You also listen to what is not being said, and sometimes that tells you more than what is being said. We can't learn anything if we're the ones talking. It's a lot of benefit to that two ears, one mouth. And that's that's a, that's a really hard one for me to do because 40 years in radio, I made a living talking and, and now I'm doing voiceover work. So I make that portion of my income in talking. But I think there's a lot of value in that. Um, I, I forgot who said about, you know, there, there's I don't speak unless my words will improve the conversation. Boy, then I'd never have anything to say. I'd never have anything to say. What, what's really interesting is I used to run sales forces. And when I would interview somebody, uh, and this was always the mark of the best salespeople. And when I, I, I think back to the time when I led a company in sales for five years, a company called Tektronics in my division graphics. And a lot of people had no idea anything about me because I was always listening, what is their needs? But well, on the radio... It was a, an overriding philosophy, which was one mouth, one mic. Yeah, you, they kind of paid you to talk and to have ideas. You yeah, know? just so listening, you, you had... listening for, your, for an hour at a time probably was not going to well, get know, it. Yeah, and I, I've even had friends and family say the same thing. I'd get off the air and I'd still be kind of wound up and they'd be like, okay, okay, you had four hours today to talk. Get it all <laughs> out of your system. You can stop now. You're off duty. Get it? You're off duty now. Give it a rest. <laughs> Been told that more than once. I just, th but I think it's a good idea. Sometimes, I mean, some people are just, you know, they have that gift of gab, and I, I get that. But it's a good reminder from time to time, to especially, I, and, and I'm, and I was guilty of this, and I'm trying to be better about this. If you're talking to somebody and they're trying to pour out their problems to you, they've got something that's a real challenge to you. Really listen and do not tr try to fight the urge to turn their story about you. Oh yeah, you've got that. You know, I had that once when such and such. And yeah. You don't need to do that. Just well, I have to tell you that, that John and I practice uh, a version of what you're uh, talking about all the time. If you take a look at this image, it's one guest, two hosts, and we're quiet most of the time so that the guest can share what he or she knows. 
So how do you like that? It works for us too. Well, apparently it does. Uh, and every now and then, I hope I give you something that you can, you know, sink your teeth into, as they say. One of the uh, one of the great compliments that people receive, occasionally receive, those who deserve it, is something like this. He's a great listener. When when people say, "Oh, he's a great listener," they're really saying something highly complimentary about you. In other words, listening is appreciated. A good listener is appreciated. It means that they're they're not ignoring you, they're paying attention to you, and yet they're not trying to dominate. They're not trying to fill in their point of view. So That's a great two point. Ears, two ears, one mouth. Two ears, two one, hosts, one guest. We yeah. rest our we rest your case. That's and, all I've got to say about that. And uh let's embrace the boom. Oh, yeah, wherever you are in life, but especially for my fellow baby boomers, live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Embrace good the stuff, boom. Good stuff is still coming. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.